Hi guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Audrey's reading area. Yeah, today is Educational Tuesday. Educational Tuesday, but you guys already know this week I am I am doing Sylvia Rouse week because Sylvia, Sylvia Rouse, an author, sent me five of her books that she wrote. So this whole week I am reading one of her books every day. So I say that to say it is Educational Tuesday and I do have a book that I will be reading to you that's pretty educational. First, you guys, please click like, please click share. And then when I'm done, there's gonna be a link. Just click it, click it, and then it'll take you all the way to, um, it'll take you to YouTube, Audrey's Reading Area. And then you can actually, um, so this whole week, ooh, look at this thing. Okay, so <laughs> it'll take you to Audrey's reading area and you can go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me and you can go ahead and punch that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Yeah, there at Audrey's reading area. Now, the, the very exciting and educational book that I'll be reading to you today is the Hanukkah Fable. The Hanukkah Fable. It's of little, uh, of little, uh, uh, oh, please forgive me for mispronouncing these words. Um, the, the vital, the vital and silver menorah story by Sylvia Rouse illustrated by T L Derby. Now, please again, forgive me. I don't have, I wasn't able to get a dreidel and a menorah in time to read this book. It was not, I was not able to get there. This is the dreidel, the dreidel. This is the menorah, the menorah, you know? So I have this little menorah here, uh, but it's not the correct Hanukkah one, but that's all I had for my background props. So please forgive me. It says every fable has a moral. On the last night of Hanukkah, a little dreidel learns the important lesson that true happiness comes from just being yourself. Just being yourself. <laughs> the Hanukkah fable of little uh, dreidel and silver menorah. Sylvia Rouse. Yes. All right. Let's read this book. I'm excited. I'm excited to read Sylvia Rouse's books. It was the last night of Hanukkah. Becky and Jake sang the blessings as their mother lit all the candles on the silver menorah that stood on the dining table next to a large window. I'm gonna change my glasses. I can read it to you guys better. So here, a picture. It's so shiny, exclaimed Becky. I like how the candles make it sparkle, added Jake. Daddy smiled. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Who's hungry, Mommy asked. We are, Becky and Jake shouted. Then let's bring out the food, she said. Silver menorah. Silver menorah watched as the family went into the kitchen. Suddenly, it looked down and saw a brown wooden dreidel near its base. This is the dreidel, brown wooden dreidel near its base. It's Hanukkah, little dreidel. Why aren't you spinning in celebration? Just look at me, replied little dreidel sadly. I'm so plain. Your bright colored candles make you shimmer and shine. Everyone looks at you, but no one notices me. Even the blue tablecloth is prettier than me. Aw. Can you guys see?
Silver Minora said, spin around once and count to three, then blue is the color that you'll be. And, and little dreidel spun around and counted one, two, three, and suddenly changed from brown to blue. Wow. Happily, it twirled across the blue tablecloth just as mommy carried in a plate of sizzling latkes and Jake brought in a bowl of applesauce. They did not notice the blue dreidel whirling by. They didn't see me, said little dreidel. Maybe I should be yellow like the applesauce. Silver Minora replied, spin around once and count to three, then yellow is the color that you will be. Little dreidel spun her and, and counted one, two, three, and it became a pretty shade of yellow. Nice, nice. But as Becky put a spoon in the applesauce, she did not notice the yellow dreidel dancing near the bowl. When daddy brought in a tray of donuts, cozing with red jelly, woo oozing with red jelly, little dreidel again changed his mind. Red is the perfect color for me. Oh. Changing his colors. Let's see what happens. Silver Menorah sighed. <sighs> Spin around once and count to three, then red is the color that you'll be. Little Dreidel spun and counted one, two, three. and turned red as it bounced right on top of a soft jelly donut. But daddy did not see the red dreidel as he placed napkins next to the donuts. What's the matter with everyone? Little dreidel demanded. I might as well be brown again. Perhaps you're right, Silver Menorah nodded. Perhaps. Little Dreidel spun and sadly counted one, two, three, and turned brown once more. Brown is my favorite color, by the way. As the family sat down for dinner, Daddy gave Jack and Becky a bag of Hanukkah gelt. The children squealed with delight as the chocolate coins wrapped in um, at the chocolate coins wrapped in golden foil. There for after dinner, Daddy winked. We'll use them when we play the dreidel game. The dreidel game. Hmm. Daddy smiled and reached for the wooden dreidel. This is a very special dreidel that your grandpa made for me when I was a little boy. I thought it was lost, but it was right here the entire time. He gave the dreidel a twirl. It spins better than any other dreidel I ever had, even those with all the bright colors. Jack and Becky clapped their hands as little dreidel danced joyously across the table. Silver Menorah smiled when it heard little dreidel shout, see me spin so merrily, I'm so happy to be me.
Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, a traditional Hanukkah song. Oh Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, come light the menorah. Let's have a party, we'll all dance the horror. Gather round the table, we'll give you a treat. Dreidels to play with and latkes to eat. And while we are playing, the candles are burning low. For one each night, one for each night, they shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. These are the prayers that are said by families when lighting the Hanukkah candles. Blessing over candles at Hanukkah, said each night. Barak Ata Adonai, oh, um, again, forgive me if I mispronounce these words. Um, Elohinu Melek, Haolam Asher, Kiddish Hanu, Votav, Avitzvanu, I had learned near Shell Hanukkah. It says, Blessed are you, Lord our God, sovereign of the universe, who has sacrificed us with his commandments and commanded us to light the lights of Hanukkah. Blessed for Hanukkah, said each night. Here's another one. Oh no, these are the same. They're, they're repeating. I think they're repeating. But I'm going to read it. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, sovereign of the universe, who performed miracles for our ancestors in those days at this time. Nope, they're different. Then the last one says, blessed are you, Lord, our God, sovereign of the universe, who has kept us alive, sustained us, enabled and enabled us to reach this season. There is an author's note to the parents about Hanukkah. It says, Hanukkah is the Jewish holiday that is celebrated in the winter, usually in December, and lasts for eight days. It commemorates the victory of the Jewish people in their struggle for independence against the ancient Greeks. When the temple in Jerusalem was rededicated, a small amount of oil, enough for only one day, was found to light the holy menorah the lamp. Miraculously, it burned for eight days. Hmm. Today, the Hanukkah menorah or Hanukkah has a place for nine candles, one for each of the eight days, plus a special place for the shamash helper that is used to light all the other candles. One candle is added on each night of the eight nights until it, it, it is ablaze with light on the last evening. Hmm. Special foods cooked in oil are eaten at Hanukkah and as, as a reminder of the miracle of the oil. Latkes, which is potato pancakes, are they're served, as well as jelly donuts. Gift giving and the giving of Hanukkah, jelt money, has become a part of the tradition. Hanukkah jelt can be used to play the dreidel game, dreidel game. The dreidel is a four-sided top with a Hebrew letter on each side, which stands for the Hebrew words, a great miracle happened there. Wow. And here is Sylvia Rouse, the author. The one who sent me these books. This is Sylvia Rouse. Right here. Yes. Sylvia is the award-winning author and early childhood educator who created the popular Sammy Spider and the Littlest Books. As an early uh, childhood educator, the children in her classroom have been her inspiration. She has lectured throughout the United States, Europe, and Israel. Beautiful. And this is a picture of the illustrator, T.L. Derby. The illustrator right here. Right here. And you can pause it and read this about the illustrator. And just pause it and read this. Pause. Okay. Wow. Thank you guys so much for being here at Audrey's Reading Area as I read fun and exciting books like this to you guys. And educational, because this 
was educational. The Hanukkah fable of little dreidel, dreidel and silver menorah. Yes, Sylvia Rouse, you all give it up. Shout out to Sylvia Rouse. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for these books that I'll be reading all week. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. Don't forget you guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button when you go to Audrey's reading area. And don't forget, share my video with everybody, share it. So that everybody gets to see, yes, and listen to me read fun and exciting books. All of your kids will enjoy it. So take your kids, your nieces, your nephew, your grandbabies, your kids, sit them in front of Audrey's reading area and just press, make sure you press play all and hit play. And they get to watch all these fun, exciting, adventurous, yes, educational. There, well, I have some inspirational. I have some that are just fun and I have some that are multicultural. Yes, just trying to read a little bit about everywhere that of all the books that I can find. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, you guys. And please don't forget, smash that subscribe, smash that subscribe button for me. And then I'll see you again tomorrow live, L-I-V-E. Live at five, right? L-I-V-E. Live at five. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll see ya tomorrow. It's only a day away. <laughs> That's why I'm here reading and not a singer. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. You guys. Um, Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area at five o'clock PM. So be here at five o'clock tomorrow live at five. See you soon.